Guys, this is Mast, and welcome back to some more Smite Conquest. Today, we're playing a little bit of Hebo in the jungle and messing with some of the new spear upgrades so that Pen gets kind of disgusting on the gods that could really use it. I think it's dumb. I think it's gone too far. I think Hyres, you've just you've overdone it this time, boys. What can I say? Um, spears, fifteen, fifteen, fifteen. They have a stupid amount of pen. I think it'll get nerfed pretty soon. Uh, as of now, as far as I can remember, I don't think they've put out any quick balance patches on it, but I think it's just, it's it's ridiculous, man. So, Hebo, very bursty god, somebody that could get some value out of it, somebody that doesn't really have too many particular items he would want to build outside of pen, nothing crazy on him, right? And so it makes a lot of sense for us to rush into pen and just do absolutely stupid damage because we're going to be doing basically true damage, right? Normally, magic prompts you're starting off with around 30, Okay, I couldn't hear that. God damn it, dude. Yeah. I wanted to listen. I wanted to listen to the joke. <laughs> I feel like a lot of people thought I like died or something went wrong. I actually just stopped talking. I wanted to listen to the joke and stupid sound effects are just too damn loud, man. I couldn't listen to it. The setup was solid, Nuon. The setup was solid. Knowing high res probably wasn't actually solid joke, but but the setup was fine. Okay, I got up. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, this voice pack is this voice pack is absurdly loud, man. I'm not having it. I gave her a chance. She's gonna stop. Wait, this is Nuwa, right? I'm assuming is is like unless Izanami is just speaking in my head right now from across the map, I'm assuming it's a Nuwa voice pack. And it's cause she's actually close to me. Let's see, we don't get double mids, do we? No, we don't get double mids, but we do get first blood when we gain Kara right here. Look at this solo lane, man. What is this obscure asshole? Is he about to just like dip? Okay, I think he just means he's backing off. Um, yeah, Iza versus Hera. Very frequently played, huh? He's banking. He's not banking. But he is terrified. Okay, well, this guy's a little bitched. <laughs> this guy, this guy is so scared, man. You've got to be kidding me. He doesn't know I'm there. He just is like, I mean, I kind of get it. It's an Iza. It's, it's an Iza, like, you know. Clear the wave forehead by left clicking, but man, I'd love to get a kill there. We'll take a blue buff. Uh oh, here it comes. Yeah, easy. You almost goofed it. Yeah, well, I almost didn't have that cooldown and almost didn't rock, and that could have been rough. But she didn't know that. Wait, what are you doing? What? Please. Oh my, I got Archer diffed. I got the fattest Archer diff, man. We couldn't blink because of the minion aggro. Unlucky. What's absolutely... I, it's not... I guess it's not ironic. What's funny about that is if she was any other ADC with mobility, then that's not an issue. But she's Iza, so she goes invis, which means we get Archer aggro, which is... Which is really unfortunate, man. That's such an obscure thing. Nine out of ten times... Of course, we have one HP camps. Um, nine out of ten times, they jump in, they take all the aggro, because they're in front of all the minions. But of course not Iza, so we don't get a blink. What are the odds, man? It's okay. She fragged her anyways. There's an enemy missing left, isn't there? <laughs> Did I want to know if he's trying to, like, reference me or if he just actually says that on his own? Because I see, I see no other people say that, man. I'm the only person I see saying that enemy missing shit when I kill people. I think it's so funny. It's so stupid, but I think it's hilarious. Have a camp. All right, we've got enough mana pots ticking. I think we'll try and look to do a little something before we back because we don't have a full item finish yet. Wait, who died? They killed Capri. Okay. Nobody cares, right? But they killed Capri. By the way, this team is going to be so painful to play against when they have ults online. Kali's already gone it. Capri doesn't. But they have Kali. Hera will be annoying too. But mostly, Kali Capri is like the team of not dying, right? It's just the team of it. Time it. Nice. That's what we liked it. Okay, well, that wasn't what we liked to see. Damn. We couldn't quite play that the way I wanted to. By the time we could kill him, we had to ult into tower, so we don't really get to do it. Unfortunate, man. I don't think we could have avoided it either, because I think if we ulted, I don't know, maybe I could have gone into a wall so that we don't move as much. Wait, start dying. <laughs> why didn't he, why didn't he dip, man? He got a little greedy, didn't he? Started getting cheeky with me. 
All right, well, I'm going to be a little bold and just hope we don't die to Kali. I don't know where she is. We have no mana, but I'd like to actually get Deso done before we back, so... We're going to run through the jungle. It's probably fine. Give me last hits so we get mana back. Nice. Nice. All right, so we're going to rush into Deso. Um, in most characters, Deso rush, not the play. Hebo, Deso rush, absolutely the play. Because when we get kills, we reset our cooldowns, basically, right? Um, three second cooldown on the one it gets a tiny bit lower with the cooldown from Deso. And then whenever we're getting kills, we're getting um, two second cooldown reduction, which makes this cooldown ridiculously low, right? Like we're just getting our one back, essentially. So really, really strong. We're going to rush that on him. Then normally we'll go um, Spear or Divine, depending on how much of an healing issue is. Or the hell? What did they just say? How much of an issue healing is? <laughs> how much of a healing issue is? Oh my god, man. Today is not my day, is it? That's funny. It wasn't even... It wasn't too many videos ago. Jesus, man. The words aren't with me. Too many videos ago that I actually thought I did that and didn't do that. Didn't get the words tangled. And then now we actually do. And it almost slipped by me, too. It just, like, I just kind of heard it after and was like, wait a minute. That can't be right. That made no sense. Uh, are you dead? Hang on, check this out, boys. She's gonna sit under tower, and we're just gonna press four, and she's gonna be done. Wait. Hang on, we gotta get creeps in there. We gotta get creeps in here. Alright, we're not gonna press four, we'll do that. It was gonna be a little more satisfying if we pressed four, but... Realistically, probably wasting ult, not the play? This should be a really easy kill. Like, I'm assuming Akali's gonna get here someday? Someday, sometime? Maybe not. Yeah, yeah. Give me the suck. Merlin's in there sucking, man. It's just, it's just what they do. Whatever happened to the good old fire and ice days? The George R.R. R. Martin days of more of Merlin players. <laughs> By the way, Haji did just ult, right? I'm not seeing things. Big CC, you're welcome. I even went for the clutch body block. Yeah, you're welcome. Easy jungle diff, baby. What is Kali doing, speaking of which? <laughs> Kali is just nowhere to be found right now. Uh, take, this jungle bomb. take it. We'll go get it. It's fine. I just, I want to get this. Oh, wait. I guess that was up. Nice. I'm assuming, I think Iza did the purple thing. The, uh, whatever it's called. I think she did it. And we got that big fruit diff, didn't we? I guess we'll just back, man. I just wasted so much time running around the jungle doing legit nothing other than pick up the buff, but that's fine. Because when we come back, we frag. But yeah, we're going to be going into spears since they don't have too much healing we have to worry about. I mean, basically, the only healing we're thinking about is Kali ult healing, and, you know, that's not really that big of a deal to stop, because normally we're more worried about just not being able to kill Kali in her ult, not so much the healing. So we'll go spear the Magus first, then we'll go to Vine. Um, and just have stupid pen and then from there It's just kind of a lot of the more typical mage items like uh, like soul reaver and stuff that we've seen more recently Where are you going? Hang on. Oh, <laughs> that was sick. <laughs> I did not think she was there. I just wanted to peel Kali <laughs> But I'll take it. It was so big brain. Oh my god the reeds. Hang on. Let me make sure this isn't up. Oh It's coming up isn't it? Oh my you are a cheeky little creature aren't you? Okay, well, stop. Do I get to kill you ever? I believe the heart. Heart of the cards just abs. Oh, nice. Absolutely failed me. All right, give buff. Bink. It'd be really cool. I bet. Um, I guess never mind. What am I saying? If Kali Ka start dying. If Kali healed less when she comes out of ult, because she gets a little bit of default healing, even if she doesn't get a kill, just like, I don't remember what, I think it's like 10% or something, it's pretty minuscule, but if it was nothing, if she stayed at 1 HP, it would be too funny to, like, get a calculated obelisk proc, or, uh, or scepter proc, I should say, and you could, like, tactically kill Kali when she runs away with ult, that'd be so satisfying, man, if having this buff and she not, and her not healing, it just means she dies, because the tick follows her super far across the map, because I've had that with a lot of other people. Um, but it's just, you know, normally it's not in kill range. It's like they jump away and then two seconds later they get hit by a scepter proc because it tracks them through their jump. But oh my god, that would crush Kali players. There's not many of them, so pro we probably shouldn't crush them, right? Hera raged, mass toxic confirmed. What do you mean she raged? Oh, did she AFK in base? 
Oh my god, tell me she didn't, man. I'm trying <laughs> I'm trying to get games recorded before I move, man. Just give me matchmaking where people don't baby rage out, please. That's fine. We can move on to the next one. They'll all have sex in a second anyways, assuming she AFK'd. Unless they're weird. Okay, Merlin, stop. He's going to red buff. He thinks he gets it. That's adorable. Come here, start dying. Okay, that's not what I wanted to happen, but I'll take it. Yeah, stack for the damage, boys. Very okay. That was that was some support play right there. Holy shit, man! All right, be dead. Okay, that was. You know what? Capri's gaming. I'm not Capri's gaming a little bit. No, I'm too speedy. Scepter diff. Scepter diff. <laughs> 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 All right, well, that was pretty good, too. Maybe we don't even need to cheese Kali in her ult. Maybe that's enough for me, man. Oh, my God. Are you taunting? You'd better stop. Okay, you don't kill me. Come on. Okay, you might. Why do you do that much damage? Am I just spoiled? I'm three levels up, right? I guess we were two levels up, but I'm like, I'm up. I think we were, like, full HP, right? I missed my three. Fight went bad. I didn't have ult. Like, it makes sense that we're starting to lose. She absolutely melted my face, man. Isn't that not normal Kali thing? At least this early in the game? She has one item. And this item sucks. It's, it's, it's not finished, so it's bad. Like, why do you hit so hard? I guess she has mannequins. Mannequins OP. We'll just blame it on mannequins. 84 damage. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It hits so hard. It actually does, though, man. Look at this. She's doing... Almost 400 with her normal autos, and then getting a total of 84 out of mannequins. 25% boost to her auto damage is pretty good, isn't it? Pretty ridiculous. Yeah, look at that Hera in base, man. Look at that Hera just chilling in base. I'm only even still recording, because uh, cause I figured they'd have six, and we could just, like, <laughs> wait it out. I might actually just stop recording, man, so we can go next. It's like, I thought, I figured they would F6 within the two minutes that they would be able to, and they're just not having it so far. Yeah, I could keep just, I could keep clapping them. It's getting a little stupid. Actually, wait a minute. But they did just kill, whatever, we're gonna go next. It's, it's dumb. Game's over. It's dumb. We'll go next. Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Mast, and welcome back to some more Smite Conquest. We're doing part two, but it's a whole new day, so I don't really remember what happened in part one. I know we fragged. I'm pretty sure somebody rage quit. Honestly, not even 100% sure if somebody rage quit. I'm just pretty sure. So I'll try and not talk about the same stuff, but normally I don't I don't really remember what we talked about in part one. Honestly, there's not that much to talk about. Obviously, we talked about the pen build that we're running. We're going to be doing the same thing. Um, and Hebo's Hebo. He's not too complicated, so maybe I don't even have to worry about it, man. Yeah, I might sound a little bit different. Probably not too much. I don't have too much of a morning voice going on right now. It's kind of funny how that works, man. Morning voice, like, uh, I obviously I have to deal with it a lot when I'm recording, right? Uh, and normally I like to record earlier in the day. And, uh, it's kind of weird, man. I don't know what causes it a lot of the time. Like, I'll be, like, well hydrated. Stop hurting me. I'll be, like, well hydrated. And, um, bye. See you later. Um, <laughs> was that a good impression? I wasn't, I didn't even really mean to do like a full on impression and it actually sounded good, but I might, I might be wrong. It might've sounded like absolute garbage. Um, yeah, I'm actually like curious, man. I gotta look up the science for it. The science of morning voice. Cause I feel like some days I just get screwed and there's no real reason to it. And, and maybe it kind of is that simple. Maybe it's not. I don't know. Oh, maybe we do get a gank mid. Oh, baby. God, I remember when Hebo used to absolutely slap level one, man. What happened to the good old days where this god absolutely clamped? Come here. Okay, stop. This dude didn't even, 100% he didn't see me. And he just did that anyways. And I'm a little salty about it. Because, <laughs> like, I'm assuming, I feel like it has to be 100% chance he didn't see me. Because he went forward after after when, when he should have seen me. And that makes no sense. So, somehow he's blind. And his blindness paid off. I was going to make a joke about it, but it seems a little bit, maybe a little, a little bit of a stretch. So <laughs> we'll, we'll leave it be, man. We'll leave it be. You going for mids? Gank. Come here. Come here. Nope. Stop. You don't win these. You might, but you don't. Oh, that's unfortunate. We didn't sync that up, did we? Dead. Nice. Nice. Look at the, the Aegis bait on Neith right there. I like it and I respect it. 
shipping. Maybe I shouldn't be greedy this game. Maybe we'll actually level our two. I keep doing this thing on Hebo where I don't want to level my two because I want to do maximum damage. And given maybe I did in the last game, I don't remember now. Um, but uh, normally when I when I level my two, it just goes better. But in my head, it's like wait, but I can get more damage. And then <laughs> and then normally I don't really feel it that much, and you get way more mobility when you need it. So I think we'll try and make a point to get it. But I mean, at this point, I'm kind of screwed, man, because I want my one to chunk, right? I want it to slap. I don't know. Nike super far. Should I be kind? I'll be kind. Mostly just because she's saying on my way. And like, I feel like she was getting a little bit spammy with it. You guys ever get that like li like that reading into the VGS of Spite, man? Getting a little bit spammy with it, which means she probably cares if she doesn't get XP. So I'll, I'll save it. It's fine. It's a little bit suboptimal. It's not too big of a deal. We waste only a little bit of time. By the way, <laughs> Zeus ADC Neath mid, probably not what you expect. I actually tripped myself out for a second looking at uh looking at Zeus doing smalls like wait. <laughs> wait, that's not my mid, what happened? But yeah, Zeus ADC Guan support. Our whole team is kind of wonky, man. We have Nike solo, that's kinda normy and kinda cringe, cause Nike boring ass god, my opinion. Um <laughs> I I kinda hate that Nike exists, man. So tanky, so obnoxious. Other than that, team's weird, right? Like, Hebo Jungle, definitely not something we see too much of. I'm leveling the one. Once we get, what is it, level eight? Once we get level eight, we'll level the two. How about that? Because I don't want to miss out on any damage. And it is it is a lot. I mean, we have three second cooldown, and we want to get, like, as much damage as possible on that three second cooldown, right? It does actually make a pretty big difference. See, can I go for Greedy Gank? We have so little mana, man. I have two abilities worth of mana. Ult and mid. Yes! Yes! I missed. It didn't matter, I don't think. Did it matter? It might have mattered. No, it's my bad. I'm the one who choked. <laughs> Sorry, it lands old. <laughs> uh, I was gonna say bye. But I feel like, dude, I don't know what it is, man. I'm probably reading into things too much. I keep, like, I've, it's been such a recent thing that I've been thinking about whether or not the VGS will come off as toxic. And I don't know what it is. The building stacks given, maybe it's maybe it's just because I've been recording, so I've been talking about it, and I process things differently when I talk about them. The building stacks has been a thing forever. That's like pretty pretty classic, even if people don't talk about it. But uh, <laughs> but a lot of other like VGS that I've been using lately, man, I'm like, will it come off his bed? Will they think I'm being mean? And I need to stop caring, man. I really do. It's because uh. I probably need to play more ranked. That's probably what it is. I just haven't been touching ranked because of the, the hacker issue I brought up recently. Um, and because I'm like very close to moving. Right. Yeah, come here, get blue buff. I will eat my health bar so you get a little bit of XP. Yeah. Yeah. What's funny about blues. So a lot of you guys in solo lane. Um, Zeus ADC is not going well, by the way. <laughs> It is not going well at all, man. Zero and four. Guan is not feeding. Guan is doing absolutely fine. Guan's one death was probably from just getting baited up by Zeus and trying to help a little bit. Yeah, we'll go gank the Shiba. And because he's still extended, we're just going to go go see if he's still pushed up right here. No, no. I'm trying to save ult for a little more. A little more this. Okay. So I don't want to be toxic, but Zeus is feeding to that, man, and that shouldn't be happening. <laughs> I don't mean to be toxic. It kind of is. Like, come on, dude. He just, like, walked up and just started autoing and didn't do anything else. Like, I don't know. I don't know why that lane's going so bad when this man is legit just left-clicking. Bing! Yeah, you like that, huh? How did that? What? How? Oh, my God, it dropped a kill, didn't it? I don't have mana. Dude, how did that miss? I gotta look back at that. I'm assuming it did. I don't know why it would have, like, you can't really ghost it, these abilities. But, like, I got, I got, uh, absolutely screwed over by my own death perception right there. Because I, I legit thought it was perfect. <laughs> and then it just wasn't. So lost, man. Give me mana. By the way, one thing I've learned, like, semi-recently, um, it's kind of hard to tell, I don't know. It's like, it's one of those things, offerings don't matter that much, and uh, outside of just going into the shrine, so people, I think, don't know that much about him. Um, I'm pretty sure the mana, the mana sustain, I think is AoE, and I don't know exactly how it works, but I've been noticing when other people pick it up, 
Um, cause I've seen like even other content creators would be like, give me my mana, get a little baby rage with it. Right. If somebody takes it and they're like low mana, man, they invaded that. Okay. Maybe not attack. I maybe should have picked a different one. Bing be dead. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. That's just, there, there's a book series about an unfortunate series of events. And I don't know how many books there are. But this could definitely be the most recent edition, if it's still going. I'm pretty sure it's not. I never read those, man. They were big when I was a kid, and I never did. That was honestly, I thought, um, I just thought he'd get stunned, so I just ulted. <laughs> yeah, I thought, I thought he'd get a CC'd right away, so I just ulted and did a one first. And I probably should have ulted first and then done the one. It's fine. We at least got a kill out of it. It was a little scuffed, though. Have a microscopic amount of movement speed for 0.1 seconds. Big Hebo diff, baby. Look at that, too. Look at that, too, value. By the way, I think we would have been completely fine in that fight if I had mana. I don't think it would have been close. Because we straight up, we didn't get a, what was it, three, I think, right? Maybe I missed the three. I don't know. We didn't get a two, at least. And it would have helped a lot. We might have still gotten clapped. We were kind of out of position. But I think it would have gone a lot better. All right, Nike not coming to this. By the way, one thing I think I forgot, I forgot to talk about. I think I got distracted by stuff. A lot of you guys in solo lane, um, there's this, there's this jungle solo issue, right? Of jungle wants to do blue because solo will bitch if they invade blue. So jungle wants to do it. Plus it's XP, right? But like, honestly, the main reason I do it is just because people get so salty and it is bad if they lose their blue, but they don't drop their blues well on their own. It's the problem. So you have to be there to do their blue a lot of the time. And some people do. I do blue on my own all the time. Um, but a lot of people don't, and so you have to be there for blue, but you have to not waste time on blue while they want to perfectly split it, and it gets super awkward, man. Alright, go on, dive. Thank you. Are you kidding? Dude, oh, this makes it so bad. Never mind. Never mind. Don't hurt me. Uh-oh. Oh, let's go! Good neath one, man. Let's go. He was just about to get in the air. And I probably would have gotten clapped. I didn't have my blink up for God tier Thana jukes. What, really? Are there? No. <laughs> but I appreciate the VGS, man. All right. We dip. We dip. We go get spear. Other spear. Calabunga. Yeah, we could have gone Divine, um, I think just because, I don't know, maybe we should just go Divine. We probably should, we probably should. Thana's doing fine, Thana's got good sustain. Outside of that, we get like no value out of it right now. We're not trying to gank Serb, Serb's the only one that has any form of healing really. I guess Shiba has, actually Shiba's not even going Devos, never mind. Shiba eventually will have lifesteal, and we're still going to go Divine eventually, so that part doesn't matter. Yeah, normally I think just Spear of the Magus feels really good in jungle because it applies so often when you gank, whereas in lane you're more likely to poke and then not get as much value out of it because it's like, oh, it comes up when I poke and then I'm done. Whereas in jungle, it's normally like you're full committing to a fight. You instantly just get bonus damage for that fight, right? So I think it feels a little better. And, uh, and same thing goes like divine a lot of time is better where they're not getting that passive healing. Whereas when we're jungling, it's only they don't get as much of a burst of healing. So it makes a little more sense. Kill this man. Dude, I cannot land some of my stuff right now, and it's not hard. Let's see. Uh, it's early in the morning. I haven't eaten yet. Um, I'm probably low on vitamin D. What else can I come up with? Um, I'm not going to blame lag. There's no lag. Um, I'm getting stutters. Look at these big stutters. I'm going from 149.99 frames to 150 frames. That's huge. Boys, sometimes I'm dropping one one hundredth of a frame. I can't play under these conditions. <laughs> I just can't do it. God damn it. That's always a funny one, man. I don't really talk about it because it's normally not an issue. Um, and honestly, even if it is, it just doesn't bug me as much unless it's like a consistent issue. But it's always funny, man. Whenever you watch like some of the more uh, like I was watching Panda the other day and he was getting some big frame drops. And it's funny because you always get that guy or two in chat when it, whenever you complain about big frame drops and you're getting them. They're like, well, I don't see them. <laughs> this guy is so needy and a lot of the time you'll get that well I have a bad computer you guys are so spoiled <laughs> and I think it's so funny man I think it's so funny this dude is like he's literally got like reference points for losing 50 frames which is a big dip and very noticeable but because you're watching it on twitch which gets heavily compressed and is literally on a different frame rate and just straight up it looks completely different 
then you don't see the same thing and you're just like, I don't see it. Come on. Come on. <laughs> That's so funny, dude. Gank middle lane. Gank middle lane. I don't care if they're missing left. I'm here to frag. Oh my knee. That didn't, that, wow. That's, I'm sad. We might get a catch him. It's pretty greedy. They kill him at least. Nice. I'm just, I thought the ult would hit. <laughs> that just sucks, man. Insta cast. Wait, that's not even insta cast. I may just be stupid then. Maybe he was in range and ran out of range. Maybe that's what it was. I don't know. I thought the ult would hit. We were just the tiniest sliver out of range and it made a world of difference. Other than that, honestly, other than that, it wasn't a bad fight. We still got, Fana got killed off of it. It was, you know, it was two for three. It probably would have been a lot better if we hit the ult, but at least it didn't suck, right? At least it didn't go completely terrible. Dude, okay, guys, don't do this ever. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do this ever. Do not rush Nimble Rod of the Hootie. I've been seeing people do this with both the rods. Um, for one thing, the other rod basically sucks. Don't rush it ever. Um, this one, I don't understand why people are doing it, man. You are spending 600 gold on bad stats, and the only reason you upgrade this is the late game stats. I think, like, more than any glyph, I don't understand why people would ever rush this one, and I've seen it multiple times. I've seen it at least three times now. So just, like, pro tip... You can literally just buy, like, tier one of a ring, and you get more value. And I don't know why people ever do it. It's a good glyph. Don't get me wrong. It's a good glyph. If you're auto-attacking, makes sense. But, but the whole point is eventually you can get a lot of attack speed. Not within the item, but you can get a lot of attack speed. You get Right now he's getting, like, well, now he has another item done. Even still, it's not going to be worth. But when he rushes it, he's getting, like, 8% attack speed for 600 gold, which is pretty garbage. I mean, that's, <laughs> that's like a 1% per 100. Uh, I thought Odin would be taking damage. Dude, I cannot hit these threes. I don't know what it is. I can feel it in my bones, too. I can feel it in my hand bones. Um, and almost... I don't think he was even aiming for me, and that almost turned into a hot predict right there. <laughs> I guess I should start hitting him back, huh? Bing! This is an awkward game right now. I'm only hitting the Odin right now because we can't really get anybody in the back very well. Is he gonna go for this? Tana, don't even don't even think about it. Oh, I didn't get it off. <laughs> Are you I got stunned out of my three, that sucks. Nice, he's dead. That's funny, man. I uh I was ready to ult out, I just didn't get it off in time. I was so ready. The moment he started landing, I was gonna four. And we didn't do it. Probably because it's on quick, honestly. I probably would have gotten it off if I had this on Instacast. Maybe we should put it on Instacast. So we get that big dip first stand ult. This is a wonky game, man. Zeus somehow caught up. Zeus was crazy behind. He still doesn't have kills. I guess he's just been farming a lot since Shib is rotating more than he should. Um, actually might get to do stuff. Hey, we hit one pog! <laughs> I'm guessing his scales were down. We absolutely chunked that, man. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Like, we're really... We're pretty fed. We're doing a lot of damage. I am choking a bit. Um, KD is good, but game is not going remotely good. It's actually like, ironically, even though we have seven kills, it's been really hard to kill people. But I think we're fine. We're only a little bit down. We're going to be really strong with Hebo late game. We're four levels up in jungle, even though, even though Thana's had a lot of presence. Thana's been able to do some stuff. We're crazy ahead of him. Yeah, not too often you're losing a game and you're outpacing the minute marker with levels, huh? Don't get to see it all that much. Ooh. Save yourself. What? 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 <laughs> what are you even referring to right now? Yep, start dying. Yep, start dying. This is mine. All right, gank left. Gank left. Little little tactical war just in case. This Odin's going to be terrifying. So far, he hasn't been. <laughs> Sir. <laughs> I don't want to ult this. Do I have to ult this? Oh, well, she didn't even have... I don't know why she ulted it. <laughs> That's fine, though. Not like she's using it too much. All right. We go back. We buy an item. Give me some of this. 
By the way, in case anybody's been wondering, since even last game we didn't get remotely close to finishing Bumba's, we are not going Bumba's Hammer. I know some people are excited about potential Bumba's Hammer Hebo Cheese. We're not doing it. It's bad. It's stupid. I've seen other people do it. I've messed with it myself. It's so not good, man. If you could... If you were not penalized, if you just magically had perma haste on Hebo, Bumba's Hammer would probably be absolutely disgusting. But the fact that you have to just turn yourself into basically Anubis by auto-attacking and slowing yourself a ton, instead of just zooming around on carpet, means, uh, the cooldown probably not- BE DEAD! Means probably not the best. BE DEAD! Man, we're gonna get Odin ulted, aren't we? We don't even need to get Odin ulted. My god. What even- what happened to me? Did we get stunned? I don't remember. <laughs> Maybe I just slowed a lot. <laughs> I just remember being CC'd a lot, and it was more than I expected. At least aside from getting Odin ulted, because that just didn't happen. Uh oh. That's too bad. If Zeus had ult up right there, that could have been such a good fight. They were so they were so packed in. If he, like, full Zeus combo, if he got that ult in the 2-1, I think everybody dies. Except maybe Shiba Kazagus exist. Should have gotten so much damage off there. Unfortunate, man. You guys ever had Surf and Turf? I don't even know if that's, like, a genre. Okay, that's so. I probably shouldn't refer to food as genres. What do you call it? I don't even know if that's, like, a... What do you call it? Because it's not, like... I'm not talking about the ethnicity of the food. What do you talk... Hmm. What do you call, like, a subsect of a type of food. I don't know. I can't think of it. Whatever. Genre is fine. Genre, genre applies. <laughs> is surf and turf like a genre of food or is it just a specific thing? Because I've seen like, like I'll go to a Mexican restaurant. There'll be like a surf and turf burrito, surf and turf tacos. And that's like it. So is it just like a thing or is it a style of food? And it actually changes a decent amount. Now I'm all curious, man. Somebody tell me. Somebody knows. Somebody always knows. The amount of comments on... God, I guess now it wasn't the last video. Now it's probably a couple days from the last video. But at some point, I brought up, like, vampire bats. In the Wukong video, I brought up vampire bats. I actually got a funny amount of educational comments, and I absolutely loved it, man. And I read them. Dude. Why are you doing that? He could have, like, I'm pretty sure his jump was up. He just got, like, he animation locked himself doing other things. I love this voice pack, man. It's so good. It really doesn't sound surfer bro because it's so absurdly exaggerated, but it's it, like it's so much better because because of, of that. <laughs> it's so much better, man. Who did this voice pack? Who managed to make themselves sound like this? Kill this man! Bonk! All right. Get it. Wait, red buff though. I mean. You gotta, you gotta take a red buff, right? You can't just say no to a red buff. All right, let's, let's do gold, boys. All right, let's do oracles, and then we'll do, and then we'll gank, and we'll do obelisk, and then we'll do gold. A little bit of obelisk first. Look at this tactical zone from Guan. For one thing, this man is somehow not taking damage, and I don't know how, because he's 1v2 and losing health to this. Uh oh Whoops. Ow! Yeah, we don't get out of that, I guess. Dude, if I if I could land my three this game, this game gets so much better. I don't know what it is, man. It's so bad. I mean, I haven't warmed up much, but like normally I don't need to warm up to stop potatoing this hard. This is uh, if I knew different types of potato and and knew a lot about them, like there's like Yukon Gold, and there's like sweet potatoes, which I really aren't even really potatoes. I'm pretty sure. I think they're more like yams. Pretty different vegetable. Pretty different thing, you know? If I knew my potatoes, I'd, like, give a nice description of what type of potato I am right now. Dude, I've been doing so much hand stuff lately. I actually kind of want to do face cam. I think maybe when I move, maybe I'll mess with it a little bit. I honestly, I, we've done this for, for ages. Some people are, like, fine with no face cam. Some people are like, man, let's do face cam. I actually really like, as long as you, like... One of the, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to break into YouTube science real quick. I'm going to break into content creator science. Face cams, to some degree, are there for when you're doing nothing, people can be more entertained because they at least know you exist. They know that you didn't step away from your computer. They know that you're at least engaged in something probably. They can see you there. And it's kind of just a way to, like, retain viewer attention. 
But it's honestly really lazy because it means you can do less and people will still be like, well, he's there playing the video game, so that's fine. And so, like, if you watch somebody not talk at all with a face cam and play the game at a high level versus watch somebody play the game at a high level and not talk at all and have no face cam, there's a massive difference in their viewers. Always. Always. There's such a big difference, man. I'm not going to name names. It exists in all sorts of games. It doesn't even need to be Smite. Um... But, like, I'm not trying to start any drama over it and be like, here's all the people in Smite that do this. But, uh, but I think for the videos, it just doesn't matter that much. And I kind of like the different feel of focusing more on the gameplay. Um, just because, like, I talk enough in the videos that we don't really need face cam. And I think face cam fits way better for streaming. But I might do it anyways, just because I've been doing a lot of hand gestures lately. And, uh, and you guys miss out on all of them. Missing out on that peak level of engagement. Not only do we get vocal changes to... I, I don't know. I don't know how to explain what I'm saying. Never mind. <laughs> Normally, you can kind of tell what somebody's like based on how they say things, right? Obviously, you can also tell that by the way they physically react to things. We're missing the physical factor. And me in my peak physical form. Oh, my! Wait, where'd he go? Man got clapped. <laughs> I tried to predict that three through the shibble. Dude, they are dumping stuff. Oh, that's awkward. I think I made him miss that. Whoops. Whoops. Kind of want to kill Odin. I think we don't blink on an Odin here, though. I think that's a little unnecessary. Whoop. By the way, Belt of Frenzy. I don't know who popped it. Shout out to the boy. Hey, we hit it. Start dying. No! Wait, how did that... I guess he wasn't... He must have not been down yet. I don't know how that would ever not hit. Unless he was just still in the air. How cool would it be... It's kind of game-breaking. There's actually some abilities to get screwed by this. But how cool would it be... Just hypothetically... If, um... If you could hit people three-dimensionally... Based on the type of ability in Smite. It'd be so entertaining, right? The reason it's stupid, the reason it's not good, is it exists on a couple things like Fenner, Fenner's 1 is a really big one. I'm sure we've had it show up in videos before, where it's like your, your jump gets canceled before it lands. Fenner jump is crazy important because it does a lot of damage and it stuns. Oh, we could have just done fire, but whatever. <laughs> I don't want to calm this. I don't want to take lead. We'll do whatever they want. Um, Actually, no, we're doing fire. <laughs> no, I changed my... Nope. Boys, okay, well, they threw. Not really, we're winning, it's fine, but it was it was pretty free FG. We literally could have, like, nobody needed a back. <laughs> it wasn't it wasn't close to, for us to actually need a back there. Uh, pen? Could be good. Could be delightful. We go Obsidian Shard, I guess. Yeah, we can go Rod. Rod's a little weird on Hebo, because uh, a lot of time when you're hitting people, if they're below 50% health, they just die. So it's very little of a window that you get value out of Ron, because normally they're just already in death range, right? It's, it's practically like they're in an execute range for Hebo damage, since we have abilities that hit so hard all at once. So I think we'll give up on Rod and we'll just go Obshard, which won't be too bad. We get so much pen out of this build, man. It's going to be ridiculous. Like we're getting pen. So Book of the Dead hits, or not Book of the Dead, Soul Reaver hits harder with the pen, by the way. We're doing basically true damage to, our, to any squishies. And then we're going to be getting 30% pen plus occasional 10% bonus pen from from Obshard, while we're doing the sort of HP shred type damage from Soul Reaver. Crazy, man. Every single item is a pen item. Effectively. Uh, kill him? Kill him. It sucks. We just can't get to most of our squishies. We kill Thana, and then we're just stuck with tanks. These fights have been so weird. They just, like, aren't rotating to stuff. Which, like, it means we win the fights, but... It's a little awkward for, uh, ow. <laughs> ow! <laughs> Can you make it stop, please? Oh, that timing, man. Oh, threw him. I don't care. Oh, nice one. Nice auto, man. If he misses that, we live and he dies. You gotta start getting kills too? These fights should be way better than they are. I don't know what's happening right here. I'm just playing super aggro, making sure we get impact. And, uh... Yeah, I feel like a lot of people are just, like, look at Zeus right now. Just, like, lagging behind so far. So we just aren't getting as much impact as we should. There we go. Dude went in for one second, and they're both just, like, dead. <laughs> like, it really, yeah. 
Yeah, we're getting a little too split. Neath's been pretty Chad, though. It, like, very opposite of normal Neath player, man. Which, you know, makes sense. She is Neath mid. She is going Mimi one-shot Neath. She's probably not a normal Neath player. She's probably just messing around with this build. But, uh... But instead of, like, sit in lane, ult from far away, rotate to nothing, she's actually been pretty aggro. Been getting a lot of ones off on people to set up and stuff. No. Never be careful. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Look at this. Big power. Big pen. 30% cooldown. Oh. Oh. Oh, they're not chan enough to do big FG? Boys, do big FG. They don't listen to me on anything, man. <laughs> you, ever, you ever have those games where you, like, carry the shit out of the game and they just, like, refuse to listen? <laughs> It's actually funny, man. Like, Nike is trying to set herself up so hard as a shot caller, and I honestly, like, I don't know. Maybe it's ego of me. I feel like it's not. I feel like this is normal, where it's like, if you're carrying, you should be the default go-to. And I think it's funny when somebody's not carrying, but they, like, try so hard to take control, and they refuse to listen to other people's calls. And it'd be one thing if my calls were trash, if I was, like, telling people to go in. But I haven't even been making calls, so it's not even like any of these have gone wrong. <laughs> they just, like, say no in advance. It's always funny, man. If it was ranked, I'd be pissed. I don't care in these. If it was ranked, I'd be mad. Shippa! God damn it, I'm throwing. Wait, am I throwing? They're throwing. They're throwing! I don't think we ever get out of this. Wait, do we? Oh, he just got he just got salty and stopped. <laughs> Oh my god, man. How do we live there? I think Thana just hit nothing. I actually don't understand. Odin never caged early, which is weird. And then Thana, I think, just straight up didn't land an ability. So, what should have been throws, because I keep thinking my ult goes farther than it does, was actually not. Wait, what? Mantle? Okay. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> I thought he somehow serb one, which is why I was so confused. I was like, okay, this man did not just serb one me in legit midair. Legit 30 feet off the ground. Bing! Bing! Let me out. Yeah, Hebo hits so hard, man. Don't kill me, Odin, please. I know it's tempting. I know it's so tempting. Thank you. Thank you, kind sir. That was a 30-minute game? I thought it was 20. I guess we are full build and close to a 3k pot, and we bought a five 500 pot. That did not feel like a 30-minute game, man. Holy shit. That thing lasted forever. Let's check the numbies, boys. They could have been higher if we landed even 50% of our threes. Could have been higher, probably. What we got? Yeah. <laughs> Pretty good. Pretty good Hebo damage. That's what we like to see, man. But thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you all... Oh, one ward! Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> when did I place that, man? I don't even know. I don't even know what I would have placed. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video. And I'll see you all in the next one. I've been seeking for the glory Say, say, say my name And I've been trying to wrap my own story In the search for fame I'm sitting here in this empty room Walls keep tumbling down